Jamestown was a dismal failure. It was a massive financial disaster. The Virginia Company lost all of its investments. What saved Jamestown was a shift in the people's attitude about gaining wealth. The settlers began to realize that Jamestown would not be wealthy through gold or as a great trading company. They began to realize that the potential wealth lay in the earth. They developed a tobacco plant which grew beautifully in the Chesapeake region. A lucrative market existed for this product in Europe. In London, humorists wrote that Virginia was built on smoke. Growing tobacco was so profitable, it was planted even in the streets of Jamestown. The age of the tobacco baron had begun, and with it came a new kind of leadership. The right of local representation was established in 1619 with the creation of the House of Burgesses. In 1621, of the 20 Jamestown councillors, eight had been educated at Oxford, Cambridge, or the Inns of Court. Since the earliest days, the proportion of gentlemen and of the well-born in the colony was remarkably high. Yet this governing elite did not survive a single generation. Some died, some returned to England. Their disappearance created a void that was soon filled with a new kind of leadership, men of the land, planters who were tough enough, shrewd enough, and bold enough to survive. Three things were required in order for this new breed of leadership to maintain its control and its economic eminence. Unrestricted access to land, autonomous local jurisdiction, and the most efficient labor possible to work the land. These three requirements foreshadowed forces which would shape, even twist, the American experience to this day. Unrestricted access to land foreshadowed westward expansion. Autonomous local control foreshadowed conflict with English authority. And the need for cheap labor foreshadowed slavery and class conflict. History, it seems, is filled with strange echoes and wandering paths. By the year 1624, the community had survived a vigorous Indian uprising and seemed to have a solid foothold in the Virginia soil. And it was functioning after a fashion under the protection of the English king. However, despite the settlers' attempts to maintain their English heritage and way of life, the new world experience changed them. This certainly was the case on the Chesapeake. The Corner Tavern in Jamestown as in England, was the center for community life, or so it first appeared.